Tell us um, what your testimony is. Jesus blessed me with a car. So tell us uh, what led up to that. All right. So for about the last five years, I've been relying on other means of transportation like the bus, which has given me an opportunity to evangelize since I found Christ. Come on, come on. And, it's, and it's been epic. It has this, this, the world is changing. Uh, but it was time, apparently, for a car to weave into the picture. Thank you, Jesus. And that's going to open up all kinds of doors. I can take these people that have been healed on the bus, and now I can bring them to church. Mission complete. Yes. <laughs> so tell us how you received this car. Um, well, Pastor Martin and Pastor Vlad, last, last uh, Friday, not this last Friday, I came to church for the growth track and uh, was just growing in the growth track. And he called out a name, and Nick was called out. And I was like, you know, I'm the only Nick in this church. <laughs> Wait, what? I need a car. Oh, uh. And then I started to lose feeling in my body, kind of. And then I was like, I have to stand up. I do. And I stood up, and everybody was looking at me, and it was so victorious. I was like, it's that moment. It happened. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> How incredible is that? So um, the church blessed you with a car, and we're so grateful for that kind of a giving church that we can be a part of. And if there's anyone here that's praying for provision, what would you advise them? Fast. <laughs> Fast. Fast, pray, read the word, uh, tithe. Tithe is huge. Really, it's like a chemical reaction. You put those four things together for the purpose of growing the kingdom. You purpose that in your heart. You do those four things. You get the answer, and it's provision. That's really it. Amen, amen. Thank you so much, Nick, for sharing your testimony. How amazing is our God. So, Mike, you were praying God to provide you in something. Can you share what, um, what you were praying for and how it came to pass? Actually, for, okay, so for, for those of you that don't know, um, a couple of months back, I had my car stolen, and the guy who stole it was running from the police and ran in, into a light pole, and they never caught him. And uh, my insurance didn't cover theft, so I was out of a car. And through that, um, towards the end of the year, I made the decision to tithe consistently. I didn't tithe consistently. I would, but then... I'd sometimes forget, and I'm like, ah, I'll just give next week. Then I'd forget next week, and it wasn't consistent. <laughs> then, even though I had an excuse where uh, I need to save up for a car, I still decided to give my tithe. And then when I started looking for a car, I couldn't find one I liked. And when I did, I tried to buy it, and then it'd go over the price I wanted, and... Other times I just forget about the sale date and the car I wanted would just somebody else would get it. So I couldn't get it. And then one now I'm God, I need a car. And <laughs> so what happened at one of our um, members' meetings that we were having? Um, it wasn't even a week since I said that. It was I wasn't it wasn't like a prayer, it was just like a cry out of frustration and that next Friday I was blessed with a car. God is so good, and he takes care of every single need. So if there's anyone here that's praying for financial provision or breakthrough, what would you advise them? Um, you can't outgive God. Even though you're in need, it's, you still give your tithe. God will come through. Amen. amen, amen. Thank you so much, Mike, for sharing that wonderful testimony.